Hello, my name is Gary Chillingworth. I'm a member of the Air Arms HFT team. I shoot HFT because it's full of great people. It's a wonderful target sport. For a shooting sport, it's relatively good value for money. It's, you just get to shoot with good people and have a good time. Basic rules of HFT, well, we shoot at targets. These targets have different kill zones within them. They have 15 millimeter kill zones. They can go from anywhere between 13 and 25 yards. They have 20 millimeter kill zones. They can go from eight yards out to 30 yards. They have 25 millimeter kill zones, which will go from eight yards to 40 yards. 30 millimeter kill zones from eight to 40 yards. 35 millimeter kill zones, which can go out from eight to 45 yards. The vast majority of these targets are shot prone but also we have four supported kneeler or standards. This can go out to distances up to 40 yards. We also have an unsupported kneeler and we also have an unsupported standard, which can go out to 35 yards. So if you can shoot a rifle prone from eight to 45 yards, you stand a good chance of knocking down a few targets. The other main rules we have within the competition is we're not allowed sitting shots like FT. We also don't allow things called butt hooks, like on an FTP 900. If you have it in its extended position, that would make it illegal in HFT. But if you fold the extra arm back in, which is a great thing about the FTP 900, that makes it fully legal. We're allowed windicators and the stock depth can't be in excess of 150 millimeters. But apart from that, we're relatively easy. I mean, you're not allowed laser range finders on the course because it's all designed to be done by eye. And the other main rule is that once you start shooting, you can't adjust the scope. With FT, you have a side wheel and you can dial in the scope. With HFT, you walk up, you look at the target, you think that's 35 yards, you use a multi-aim point reticule scope, you get down, you put the aim point in the kill zone, pull the trigger and hopefully it'll fall over. Within HFT, we have many, many different shooting classes. The main shooting class is the open class. That is where the vast majority of people shoot. This is predominantly 177 using rifles like the FTP 900, the HFT 500, or the S 400s. A lot of people shoot with those. You then have the recoiling class, which is the class that I shoot in, and that's using spring guns like the TX 200 or the Pro Sport. And we then have the ladies class, which is a very, very popular class these days. And you then have 22. Again, the 22 is getting much more popular. We then have junior classes for ages 9 to 13 and 14 to 16 and then finally we have the veterans class. Within HFT there are major competitions throughout the year. The one we're at today is at Misfits and that is round one of the UK HFT National Series. That's probably the most important series throughout the year. The major one is obviously the World Championships which this year will be held at the Midland Game Fair. The other one which is one of the most popular shoots is the Air Arms RSN 10. We're going for the Air Arms International in Holland. Early May we've got the European Championships which will be held at Groupont in Belgium. We've also got the British recoiling championships, which is the NMA, which I'm pretty sure Air Arms is also sponsoring. So they're the main ones we have throughout the year. Most people who start in HFT will start off with an Air Arms S400. The Air Arms S400 is probably the perfect starter rifle. It's a brilliant gun with the knock over valve, which Air Arms has been developing for years. Consistently, it's almost as good as a regulated rifle. They're accurate, they're reliable, they never go wrong. I mean, 400 pounds for an S400. Jean Greatrix, she's the Scottish Open champion. She's one of the top lady shooters in the country. She has a standard S400 and in the right hands, it's a formidable piece of kit. I use an Air Arms TX200 Hunter Carbine. I love recoiling rifles. I've had an FTP, I've had an S400, which is what I started off with. And I ended up just using a recoiling rifle because I love things that go twang. TX200 is fantastically accurate. It's fun to shoot. You can purchase a TX200 for just under 400 pounds and out the box, put the right scope on it and get a bit of practice and you can be competitive with the best of us. Many years ago, I used to be into Taekwondo until my knees gave out, my back gave out, and pretty much every part of me broke. I needed to do something competitive. I found HFT. I've been able to shoot all over Europe. I've represented my country at the World Championships. And for me, it gives me that chance to be competitive again. This sport has given me so much.
Getting into HFTs is really easy. The first thing you need to do is find yourself a decent little club. Go and meet the people. You'll realise that they're lovely. The people will show you around, they'll help you and just get the guidance. Then go to a decent gun shop, but know what you want to buy before you go there. Get yourself a scope that fits you and suits your eyes. And once you've done that, once you've got your club, you've got your gun, you've got your scope, come and join in the fun. It's a really friendly place to be. Hi, my name's Mike Burgess. I've been shooting HFT for about 15 years now and enjoy it because every day brings something new. And I think one of the attractions of the sport is that you never stop learning. I'm Jean Greatrex. I've been shooting for Air Arms since 2013 for the team. And I just love HFT because of all the people that you meet and all the different clubs and things that you actually learn are out there. The Air Arms rifle I've moved into over the years is now the FTP 900 and I even carry a spare one as a backup just in case but I've never needed to use it. My main gun is the S400. I find that suitable for me and my play gun if you like. I have a Galahad, the Bullpup. Find a local club first of all. Go and meet people who do the sport every day, get to try out guns, you can usually do that at a local club and then make a decision about what your budget will allow you to move into. First challenge I think is the setup of their gun. I think they've got to make sure that their gun is set up for them, right stock, right weight. Then the challenges of course after that are the competitions. 